Hello. So, my mom friend Angela for Christmas gave me this golden face mask that is called a Vital or Vita Cocktail or Vita Cocktail Age Foil Mask Intensive Lifting. And it also says it's anti wrinkle and whitening, which I mean, I'm not really sure how it's possible for me to get any more white than I already am but I'm interested in seeing how this would work. Uh, so as one could probably probably guess, this is a Korean beauty product. And um, I couldn't really find much information about this online. On Amazon, there was one five-star review about uh, some woman whose friend went to LA and got this from Koreatown and really liked it. So, I mean, who knows? I've already washed my face and my plan was to show you the cleanser that I just got but I guess I'm not gonna do that since I forgot, since it's in the bathroom. So my face is washed and ready. The instructions for this say that I should leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, and then after that, let the essence <laughs> absorb into my skin by gently patting the remaining goop that stays on my face. So yeah, let's try it out. Eek. So I'm just squirted on my feet. Oh, it's really, it's really, really wet. <laughs> it's really wet. Ugh. And it's gold, all right. Now, I am assuming that the not gold side is the side that goes on my face. Um, I think. Oh no, now it's stuck. <laughs> my table is going to be so disgusting after this. Oh, it's in two, okay, it's in two different parts. Okay. Or is the gold side supposed to go on my face? What do the instructions say? Instruction man, can you tell me what these instructions say? Did I do this wrong? It feels like the gold side would go outward. It feels like the gold side wouldn't go on my face because that wouldn't make sense. It feels like this under part here feels more like what a face mask on the face would go. But it also makes sense that the gold part would go because, I mean, then the gold would be going into my skin. Yeah, it's only then. That's Omniki yelling in the background, by the way. This doesn't say anything. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put this part. I'm just gonna put this part on my face. There, so now I leave this on. Oh, that tastes bad. I leave this on for 10 to 20 minutes and then we'll come back and I will show you my white lifted face. Okay, I really want to take this off. It's been more than 25 minutes and ugh. Ugh, tastes awful. And I know I'm not supposed to eat it, it just ended up in my mouth. All right. So now I'm supposed to rub the remainder of the essence into my face. I guess this remaining crap on my face is the essence. And I feel like I have too much of this on my face to actually rub in. Um, cameraman, am I, am I whiter? <laughs> I, I don't know, this is so shiny. <laughs> Am I whiter? What do you think? Do I look whiter and lifted? It said I would be whiter and lifted and uh Is she sagma? Sagma Well I mean I I definitely feel like my skin is hydrated, but that's because there's like a solid thick layer of crap on it. So I can't really say how I feel. I'm gonna actually take a shower now, and I think after the shower I'll 
pop see, in and let you know how I feel. So let's see again in like half an hour. Okay, so I've showered and this is what my face looks like now. I don't know, probably exactly the same. Uh, in my defense, I did put some Full of Grace uh, moisturizer on over top just once I get out of the shower because that's my usual, um, that's kind of like my usual routine uh, is to cleanse and then shower and then put on Full of Grace and then put moisturizer on on top of that. But I think because of the fact that that particular mask was so, so gooey, I think it was enough for me to just put on Full of Grace. And then in the morning, I'll put on my usual SPF moisturizer. But my thoughts on that mask, there was a lot of stuff on it. I still don't know if I had put the right side on my face or not. Like, I don't know, was the gold supposed to be touching my skin or what? But what I didn't like was that after the fact, when I was going into the shower and I would try to like move my face or like make a face or something, like it was really stiff. Like it just wouldn't move because it was so, there was so much stuff on my face. So that wasn't particularly nice and um, it kept sliding off of my face. Like normally I don't really have an issue of getting masks to stay, but that one, even though it was in two parts, it kept sliding around. So I'm not really sure if I'd use that one again. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be adding it to my routine anytime soon, but it was a fun experiment. And if you want to try it, I can put the official name and stuff in the description of this video so you can see if your preferred skincare product retailer has it and try it for yourself. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Oh. I'm not standing up because I know you're still filming. You're not wearing pants, so. <laughs>